<laughs> I never thought I'd be so excited to see 50 degree weather. Welcome back to the video guys. Wow, I it, it's I gotta say it's a beautiful day today out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies, as you can see. Nice weather, man. High of or low of 52 degrees. <laughs> wow, it feels amazing to be out today, man. I cannot remember the last time I had a an actual motor vlog. It's been a while, man. Weather out here has just been constantly snowing in the 20s and low 30 degrees and just ice and snow on the floor everywhere. Finally, we're getting some warm weather out here and all this damn snow is melting away. So in today's discussion, I um, want to talk about which bike I'm going to be changing for a road glide. <laughs> Um, it's been uh, it's been long overdue. I've been talking about this for hold on. <laughs> wow, that feels good. That feels good. Freedom, baby, freedom. Um, yeah, so I've been talking about this for like about a year or so Been wanting to get a road glide at first. I started with a street glide one in that bike and um, Shifted over to a road glide um, And since I have two bikes I need to decide which bike I'm gonna be trading in I'm not gonna do the crazy thing and just get a third bike right now. I mean I could get a third bike, but Road glide is just too expensive. I, I can't do all three. Um, if it was a cheaper bike, like in like let's say ten thousand dollars or so, then yeah, whatever. But I, I can't justify thirty thousand or, or twenty two thousand dollars right now for a third bike. Just can't do that. And plus, my wife will kill me. So I need to decide which bike to get rid of. And yes, I get asked the constant question all the time. Which bike is your favorite bike? Is it the 2020 Lowrider S or is it your 15 Dyna Lowrider? And um, thinking about everything, I, I was never able to give anyone a straight answer because I was like, listen, I love both these bikes. They're both special in each and every way. The Lowrider S is all blacked out. It's, it's a monster of a bike, super cool. I love riding that thing, super aggressive. And then the Dyna just, Screams out Harley Davidson. It's just something special about this bike the vibration the sound Obviously all chromed out It's, it's just different and it's a it's a beautiful bike um, And I couldn't decide which one is my favorite bike But now that I'm getting close to this decision of me trying to get a bagger and me having to trade one of my bikes in Kind of the kind of realize hey, you know what? The lowrider S is my favorite bike. I just I just can't get rid of that bike. That's that's just my baby. If anything, I get rid of this bike. Even though I don't want to, like I really love this bike. But if I had to, and if I was gonna change for a bagger, then it would have to be the Dyna. Now, really quick before we go down that rabbit hole, I'm not a long distance rider. Um, that's the number one thing that people always, you know, say to me all the time to justify me getting a bagger and that's uh well are you gonna be doing cross country are you gonna be doing x amount of miles in a day well if you're not you don't need it and no i'm not, I'm not a long distance rider that way not yet but i mainly want the bike because i'm in love with it <laughs> it's it's nothing about it. it it's just simple as that i love the bike i love the looks of it i love the fact that it has that big ferry in the front you got your navigation if you need it. You got music if you need it. You got bags if you need it. You got a six gallon gas tank if you need it. And overall, it's just a really cool looking bike, man. 
that's just those are my reasons for wanting it simple as that at the end of the day it doesn't matter what anybody thinks or says you're gonna ride what you want to ride whether it be in whatever bike it is and that's just my mentality on it i'll ride what i want to ride and it doesn't matter if you don't think that it's justifiable or not now lately my biggest thing is choosing the special over the standard right so yes i i, I know i really want the special but it's just really hard to justify the fact that that bike is thirty thousand dollars and it's like damn that's that's a lot to bite off right now man i just i don't know i don't know if i could just go and give thirty thousand dollars for a bike man like that's a big payment right there so i was like you know what maybe i should just get a standard 20 at one twenty two thousand dollars and um build it out to what i want and then thinking about that is like well i really want the special for a certain reason i like the blacked out look i like the fact that the fairy inside everything is you know in that gloss black as well which makes it look better i like the fact that it has a 114 over a 107 and especially the paint jobs so everything i want is on a special but then again it's like damn thirty thousand dollars like damn it's it's a lot to think about so then i sat down yesterday night and i had a discussion with jerry after we finished doing the video and asked him for his opinion and he was like listen like it's too much money for a special number one and then he brought up the fact that yeah you know like you're not really doing cross country you don't really need a bagger if you're gonna be you know doing the type of riding you do and i'm like I, honestly i really don't care about that like i just want the bike and um then i looked at this bike and i'm like you know i, I could easily just make this into like a mini bagger get an fxrt fairing on this color mask end up getting some hard bags i don't know what company but you know just create a mini bagger out of the dyna thought about doing it on the uh on the low rider s but no i i, I think i'd rather do it on this bike especially with that very nice and big all in white and blue Oof. saucy baby that'll be saucy and um that was kind of like my final like thought i'm like well maybe i, sh I should just do that simple as that and i kind of came to the conclusion that maybe that that is what i should do now that's not my final decision yet um I kind of wanted to make this video and kind of get you guys' response. Let me know what you think about everything. I just like to hear your opinion and um, see where you guys are at with that. Maybe just take the highway. Maybe hop on 80. Yeah, let's uh, let's hop on 80. Kind of want to open this little bagger up. Oh. Just finished cleaning this bike the other day.
is that this bike is just so much fun to ride. So if I could convert this into a mini bagger, then you know what? I think I come out winning. I'm not gonna spend all that crazy money and um, I kinda wanna get. And I'm probably gonna have what I kinda want, which is a lot more boot protection and um, storage. And I can put music on the FXRT train as well. So it's kind of a win-win with this one. I don't know. Drop your thoughts down below, guys. Let me know what you think about everything. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell button. It's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. I have a ton of stuff coming. More for this bike. A ton of stuff coming for my 2020 Lowrider S. And a few other cool little things that I'm trying to work on right now. Um, by the way, if you guys are wondering what type of pants I'm wearing, in the beginning of the video I showed it, it was a nice little close-up. These are the um, these are the fleeced torque motorcycle co pants. They're nice and fleeced inside, keep it nice and warm for this, you know, chilly weather like this. Um, check that out. Get 15% when you use my promo code MK15. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm gonna keep enjoying this beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.